Hello everyone, this is Ashwin again. Welcome back to my series of tutorials on OpenCV3 and Python 3 on Windows machine. So in this tutorial, we are going to understand what, what matplotlib is and um, how to install it on a computer. So let's understand what matplotlib is. So for that, we are going to need notepad. So matplotlib is a custom library. Okay, so matplotlib. Okay, uh, it, it's a custom library for Python. Custom library. So uh, basically this library is modeled after MATLAB. Okay, so um, many of the um, young uh, engineers who are actually into data visualization and processing, image processing and artificial intelligence and all these allied fields, they were looking for something uh, like MATLAB, okay, uh, which is going to give them the flexibility of MATLAB in Python. So uh, they ported uh, this um, mat, uh, mat, MATLAB is um, plotting library to the Python. Okay, so it is MATLAB style plotting and visualization library for Python. So if you are going to work in any sort of scientific computing domain, and if you're looking for visualization, data visualization, then uh, I think that uh, that work is not going to be very easy without, uh, uh, that, that work is going to be uh, quite difficult without uh, a library like matplotlib. So there are many more libraries like ggplot. But here in this tutorial, we are just going to see what matplotlib is, okay? And uh, matplotlib and how to install it, uh, especially on uh, the Windows computer where Python 3 is already installed. So as you already know that we are using um, Anaconda installation as well as uh, the Spider IDE for um, for our um, uh, computer vision tutorials. So we are going to use uh, we are going to use the same environment for installing the matplotlib. Okay. So open the command prompt as an administrator. Okay. Once you open the command prompt as an admin, just type conda install matplotlib okay so uh, uh, remember that if you are installing uh, this anaconda distribution of python matplotlib will be most likely to be installed um, uh, already as a part of that anaconda, anaconda distribution because anaconda distribution is like very famous for all the scientific computing uh, uh, for, for all the scientific computing purposes it, it actually comes pre-installed with many of the much needed uh, scientific libraries like uh, numpy and matplotlib but uh, we are actually going to just see in um, like how to install matplotlib using the conda okay so uh, once you type it just press enter and it is going to uh, fetch the metadata from the repository to see whether matplotlib has been installed it seems that the uh, matplotlib has already been installed to my system okay but it needs a revision or it, it needs an update uh, also it is going to um, update a few other um, packages which uh, on which uh, matplotlib, is, uh, matplotlib is going to depend. It is going to update free type libpng, which is going to be used for uh, displaying the PNG images and zlib, okay. And also it is going to install a new library. So it is going to be quite worth to update it, okay. Just press Y and press enter. So it is going to take quite a while to update all these libraries, you know, to update and install all these libraries. So let's wait for that time. I guess it is almost done because it's kind of a very fast net connection. Yeah. So I'm just going to skip this part and going to fast forward. So it seems that all the uh, libraries have been either installed or updated. So uh, when we saw the message uh, on the screen last time, it was installing uh, a new library VC and there were four other libraries it was updating. Matplotlib is the main library for which we are doing all the exercise. And the other three libraries were, I guess, um, libpng, zlib, and free time, uh, something like that. So it seems that the installation as well as the update is complete. Uh, now let's close this window by typing exit and let's go to the spider IDE. Okay, so now uh, the matplotlib has been installed uh, and or updated. So in case you don't, don't have, you haven't got it installed, then you can just like use this command conda install matplotlib either it is either going to install it if it doesn't if it is not there on your system or it is going to update the library as well as all the um, associated libraries with that 
so just uh, import it import uh, matplotlib okay so whenever you are going to say import matplotlib and press enter it is going to import the matplotlib but usually we do not really require the entire matplotlib library we uh, require only a part of it so there is a uh, there is a package in that so it's no, uh, it is known as pyplot okay so just say import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt okay and we we have imported all the things that we need so uh, we are actually going to use this uh, line of code very frequently from now onwards so in case you are planning to take up the career in um, data visualization data processing image processing computer vision or uh, neural networks or artificial intelligence and you are planning to use matplotlib then uh, this pyplot is something that is uh, worth uh, paying attention to so i'm i'm hoping that i uh, i will be able to upload another series of tutorial on matplotlib but for now just install the matplotlib uh, install or update the matplotlib on your system and um, we uh, i will see you next time thanks a lot let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe i will see you next time